So yes, it's possible to use perplexity in order to do our SEO, but you have to do it step by step. And I'll show you today what to do, what types of prompts you should use. And also we're gonna see how to put all of that into one neat little CSV file so we can just have all of it in one place. And yeah, we're gonna see some of the ways in which you can make money with this one. But don't expect miracles. It is gonna depend on you after all. But yeah, let's just start. So you know how to find perplexity. It is over at perplexity.ai. And it's just like any other model, right? But this one is the best if you wanna deal with anything search-based, right? And I'll show you what I mean. Also, it's free. You don't have to pay for it. You can just make yourself an account. You can do it even without the account. But I wanted to stress that out because as you can see, SEMrush is $139 per month to just use and it is outdated. Same goes with Ahrefs, a bit outdated and you have to pay $129. And honestly, you can do the same things with Perplexity and you can do it for free. So let's just see how. So first of all, we're gonna give it a prompt like this. So provide a comprehensive list of the top main keywords related to homemade cookies. You can do whatever you want. Include terms that are highly relevant and frequently searched by users interested in this topic. Now I use perplexity because AI powered search engines are the future, honestly. And the goal of this strategy is to provide good keyword ideas and content ideas that will help rank on Google, right? So just get more organic traffic, leads, sales, whatever you want, or whatever your client wants. And yeah, we're just gonna use this as keyword research tool. So as you can see it already in action down there, you can see main keywords. First of all, it gives you the main keywords, which are of course, homemade cookies, cookie recipes, easy cookie recipes, and this is good. Now you get long tail keywords how to make homemade cookies. Now this is good for blogs, for whatever, for recipe sites. And then down there, it gives you related keywords. Now the beauty of perplexity, as you can see, it gives me long tail and all of that. The beauty of it is that it understands search intent. It guides its own path through these keywords and you can see it just understands it more deeply, right? I love it. So what is the next step from here? Well, the next step is this. Now list detailed long tail keywords related to the first keyword. These should be specific phrases that users might search for when looking for information on this topic. Now, I don't know why I haven't logged in yet. Luckily, you can just do it with Google. So as you can see, long tail keywords, you got a list of them. And as you can see, like maybe 20 of these, 15. And what's good, for example, best homemade cookie recipes, you can just follow up on this one or any other. Now these long tail are fantastic for SEO. Yes, they have lower search volume, but they've got lower competition. And if this is applicable to you or your client, if you run a blog on it, it's perfect. These are fantastic words to focus on. Now let us go and use NLP. So what is NLP? Now NLP optimized is natural language processed. Actually, natural language processing. Now, these are important to understand because many people nowadays are just using voice search with Google, with ChatGPT, whatever, and these can really be beneficial. So my prompt here is gonna be identify NLP optimized keywords and phrases to homemade cookies, focus on natural language expressions and semantic variations that users might use in, a con in conversational queries. This is gonna identify all those little things that we, you know, when we talk, we're not actually following any structures. So here it is. For example, someone, this is a good one. This is a really good one. Someone can make cookies at home and they're just gonna ask Google with voice, let's say, why are my homemade cookies flat, right? And then you can rank for it, it's good. And the last thing that I do is I ask about frequent questions. So what are the most frequently asked questions about homemade cookies? Provide a list of questions that users commonly ask regarding this topic. By the way, you get all these sources, by the way, like on top of everything else. And then you see all the questions, frequently asked ones, that people asked, all right? This is gold. Whatever you do, this is gold. Now, this is not the only way to do it. Of course, you can do it manually, but just using Google and one more website, I'm gonna show you later on. But if you have a client, you want everything sorted 
and let's just say Google Sheet or a CSV file. And we're gonna use ChatGPT in order to make that for us. You know, we have to use all these AI tools that can maximize your time efficiency, right? And that's, that's the power of AI for me. But let me just show you now how to get more gold, more good queries on Google. So if you search for homemade cookies like this, right? Down there, you noticed probably that there's gonna be this section, people also ask. And if you click on any one of these, you can see that more and more appear down there, right? So you can just explore on Google. It will take time, of course, but this is bread and butter, right? This is really, really good because you get all these questions, which you can, for example, I don't know, make a blog post about. There's one more website, as I've told you, it's called Also Asked. And here you can search for homemade cookies as well. Here you can choose a country. Let's just use let's just use United States and then just click on live search. In here you get all the breakdown on it, right? So it's a good thing. You see, you get it as a picture. You know, you can download it as well. You can search for this. You can search by just clicking on this, and you can download this one as a PNG or in Sheets if you upgrade your account. But you can just get it as PNG and send it over to your client. But now let's just use ChatGPT in order to create a CSV file out of that research we did. So go back to perplexity and copy all of it, all right? Just copy all of this info. So the whole thing, just copy it. And then paste it here, all right? Just paste it. And then on top, I want you to write this. So please organize the following keyword research into a detailed and well-structured CSV file. I want every keyword, category, search volume, CPC, and competition level preserved as provided. Now, just save this. I'll just leave, I'm gonna leave this on screen. As you can see, the end is also important, formatted for easy upload to Google Docs, right? And it's gonna make it for you, right? It's gonna analyze the thing and it's gonna give you the CSV file which you will be able to download. And this is how you will essentially, you know, send it over to your client. So how to get money. First of all, if you're a new SEO searcher, just start with Fiverr, right? There's a lot of people that write blogs. Blogs are the best as far as I'm considered, because as you can see, this person charges $100 for 700 words, right? So you do the research, you write a blog about it with the help of AI, of course, and you get $100 for it. This person as well, as you can see, she is 500 words with SEO keywords for your website, right? So you will provide the keywords and you will provide the blog post to someone. Later on, as you can see, this person is using Ahrefs, which we've seen it's too much but with a little bit more research and just practice with the tool. And after you land a few clients on Fiverr or anywhere else, it is time for some marketing, right? My recommendation is to use Instagram because Instagram has a lot of traffic and you can just showcase your work there. And then you can just redirect the traffic to your email address or whatever. Later on, you can just make yourself a website, but all of this has to start somewhere, right? So just do these gigs if you're a beginner and just practice with it, right? If you have any interest in it, the door is well gonna open to you and you're just gonna land more and more clients, right? It's not a get rich quick scheme and it's never gonna be, but with some work and some dedication, you can go far. So that's it for today. Wish you good luck and I'll catch you in the next one.